Last topic of the night. If you're the Cowboys, Romo or Prescott? And if you say Romo, who will make you lose? Tony Romo. <laughs> uh, here's why. Tony Romo, for the Cowboys, has been a mainstay for a number of years. He has been the man, the piece, the, the piece to the puzzle, the superstar, Jerry Jones's boy. The yeah. mess up. The mess up? How so? <laughs> Listen, you like look Tony at Tony Romo. Romo's career statistics. He's been a great passer, an elite passer, a lot of touchdowns, very few mistakes in terms of overall season. Granted, he's, he's made a lot of mistakes in crunch time and big moments, but overall, he's limited the amount of mistakes he makes in a game. And I look at the Cowboys. You're four and one now. Romo comes back in a couple. Romo comes back in a couple weeks. Let's say you're five and two. All right. Let's say they're five and two when he comes back. You're in the playoff hunt. Okay. Do you want a rookie quarterback leading your team on a playoff push in a division where you have the four and one Eagles, the three and two Redskins, and the Giants who are still hanging around with two wins? Do you want a rookie quarterback? leading that push, or do you want Tony Romo, pro bowler Tony Romo, solidified starter Tony Romo, in that spot with a good offensive line and hopefully a healthy Des Bryant? I, you got to go Romo here. I think the cards are all in his favor. I disagree. I, I, I say Dak Prescott. I think that he, well, I know you can't really look at a college career to compare to an NFL career. We've seen that in plenty of quarterbacks. But... I have to say what I do like about him is his leadership. And I think that he is someone who can really, I feel like Romo, while yes, he has been around for a very long time, I, and while he is a leader of the team, I think Prescott has a better chance to really round up the truth, especially Tony with, Romo. stop it. No. <laughs> especially with Tony. Ezekiel, with Elliot, Ezekiel Elliott. As your running back, I think with them too, I like it a lot. He has yet to throw an interception. He has over a thousand two hundred yeah, passing yards. They also yards. throw check down routes every other oh time. God. His stats are skewed because he's literally throwing dink and dunk five yards, five yards, five okay. yards. He's not okay. throwing the ball down the field. Of course, he's not going to make a mistake because he's not throwing the ball down the field and All pushing right. the tempo. He has. Let her go, man. No, what? it's no. fine. I'm, I, mean, I just disagree. He is a leader. He's not. He's nominated as a captain of that team for a reason. He's nominated by his fellow teammates. Yes. He's a leader of that team. Okay, but I don't see him giving them anything for their season. Anything. I really don't. No. I mean, it's as, over 4,000 yards almost every as, season okay, of his career. Tony Romo as quarterback, I see them dropping at least half of the games that he will start. Absolutely. No. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. No. I don't see him producing. No, He's, not at all. I don't reason, care. The reason why the Cowboys have struggled with him at quarterback is not because of him. It's because they had one of the worst statistical defenses in the history of the National Football League. Oh. It's not his fault. He's trying to push the wall down the field and take risks. Of course, he's going to throw a lot of picks and make some mistakes, but that's because he's trying to get his team in the game and keep them with the pace. Their defense is letting up points after points after points over past years, so his numbers are skewed. So I look at it this year. The training rules have not been taken off Dak Prescott, so you can't look at his numbers and say, wow, look at this. He hasn't thrown an interception yet. They're, they're not taking risks with Prescott. So it's just I saw the same situation with Jimmy Garoppolo in New England. Okay. I, what I see is someone who, when he was at Mississippi State, he did not start right away. Well, he was a redshirt freshman. Second year was playing at, under Russell. And then by his starting season, he really turned that team around and he went 10-2. and two. I see him doing something like that for the Cowboys. I see him being a leader, making plays. And once they do take the training wheels off him, him because they see that he can play, he's going to produce and in big ways and I think bigger than Romo. Do we remember all the games in college when he played really top tier caliber teams like Alabama or LSU? Okay, he he just I couldn't he didn't he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't show if they wanted to. He didn't show up to play against those teams. So when you put him on a big stage like that against an Alabama in the NFL ranks, you put him against a team like the Packers this week or maybe the Patriots down the road What's he gonna do? I mean, t people are gonna exploit. Hey, you him. never know. He could make a difference. He could shoot. He could. I don't he know. Come out of nowhere. You I, never know. I just really think that he's. It, he hasn't given me a reason to start Romo. That's how I feel. It's not about giving a reason to start Romo. Romo's your guy. You're paying him millions and millions of dollars to so be your sure. starting quarterback. That to comes be the, down to the franchise. Politics. No, but I feel like if 
I don't know. I just disagree. Because honestly, I don't I even see like a difference if the Cowboys no, with Preston Romo has, versus Preston the Patriots. I still don't see a difference. Patriots are winning regardless. Well, all right, listen, listen. Tony Romo is the veteran. He's going to lead you to the playoffs. He's going to get you those quality wins and crunch time moments when you have to make those big time plays down the field. Prescott, they're not going to let him make those mistakes because they're not going to let that. Listen, training wheels are still still on for a number of reasons, but one thing is to not let his confidence go down. And in my opinion, oh, as soon as they take him down, put Romo in. It doesn't matter about that. He's a, I think he's a veteran player in the sense that he knows that Romo's the guy, and he'd be willing to yield back to him, sort of how Garoppolo yielded to Brady when Brady came back. Listen, it's just a more economical option to go with Romo. You're investing more money. You don't want fifty million dollars sitting on your bench. This is true. I mean, and well, he also, he's also, he's also been the only quarterback to make it to the playoffs for the Cowboys and win a game since Troy Aikman. So. You gotta, you gotta give the man some seniority and some respect. I mean, I, I agree with that aspect I of it, I but think. I really, I don't think that it's smart if the Cowboys want to win. That's how I feel. Oh man, you guys make this so hard. He puts up a good fight. He I does. have to say. Uh, and we can't do ties, but you know what? For this week, who? We're gonna have to be one and one because I'm gonna give it to Matt. He came strong talking yes. about the Patriots. He didn't. You didn't disagree with the team. And <laughs> you gave some good points about Romo. Tony, oh man, I have so to, did I you. I have to give it to you, too. You Thank guys you. did amazing. You put this up a good a, fight with Romo. This was a team performance by everyone here. So, yeah. Now we've got to go player. one and one. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to see who wins yeah. next week. I'm Just know I'm bringing out the Bing guns next week. <sighs> All right, and I'm, I'm going to have scouting reports on that, so we'll be ready to go. Oh, I can't yeah, wait to see. Just wait. I'm going to be I'm about to be 2 I'm going to talk to Coach. I'm going to go back and talk to Coach and break down some game tape. So we'll be good. Oh, no. Thank you guys for joining us today. This was the Rival Zone. Catch us on Hulk TV, channel 12.1.